you can see that far, look on the wall right over there that surrounds this wonderful festival. And there's a message on that wall for President Donald Trump. And you know what it says? Build bridges, not walls. Do you know, politics is actually about everyday life. It's about all of us, what we dream, what we want, what we achieve, and what we want for everybody else. And what was fascinating about the last seven weeks of election campaigning around Britain is, do you know what? The commentariat got it wrong. The elites got it wrong. The wonderful campaign that I was involved with, that I was so proud to lead, brought a lot of people back into politics because they believed there was something on offer for them. But what was even more inspiring was the number of young people who got involved for the very first time. Because they were fed up with being denigrated, fed up with being told they don't matter, fed up with being told they never participate, and utterly fed up with being told that their generation was going to pay more to get less in education, in health, in housing, in pensions, and everything else. That they should accept low wages, they should accept insecurity, and they should see it as just part of life. Well, it didn't quite work out like that, did it? And you know what? That politics that got out of the box is not going back in any box because we're there demanding and achieving something very different in our society and in our lives. And I think we should adopt a maxim in life that everyone we meet is unique. Everyone we meet knows something we don't know is slightly different to us in some ways. Don't see them as a threat. Don't see them as an enemy. See them as a source of knowledge, a source of friendship, and a source of inspiration. And if I may, I'd like to quote one of my favorite poets, Percy Bysshe Shelley. The line I like the best is this one. Rise like lions after slumber in unvanquishable number. Shake your chains to earth like dew, which in sleep had fallen on you. Ye are many, they are few. I quote Shelley because he inspired like so many others do. I'm proud to be at Glastonbury because it inspires so many to music festivals all over the country. Let us be together and recognize another world is possible if we come together to understand that, understand the power we've got and achieve that decent, better society where everyone matters. Thank you for inviting me here today. I'm proud to be here. Thank you very much. Best of